Well, I was hoping to find some arrowheads, but uh, I guess this little old knife will do. Been there for a little while. That's an older style knife. I got a sheath with it. I don't think that's the correct sheath, but we'll take it. Take it out of here. Take the trash. Clean up the place while we're doing this. And there's just one person on the river cleaning up trash. Could do this the rest of your life and not even make a difference. But it's a thought that counts. So it's a nice little leopard frog. They make a really cool sound at night. Alright guys, I'm gonna head out. Alright guys, I got another point down here. This is where I found the last two. Um, still cleaning up some trash. I got almost a half trash bag full and then I have a full trash bag in my car. But again, right here where I found those last two. It looks like this one has a tip nick possibly. Really crude. But I'll take it. Oh yeah. Like I said, not the nicest thing in the world with that tip, Nick, but I'll take it. That's incredible. Alright, I'll be back for the next one. Alright, I'm a few yards down from where I found that last one. Got something sticking out here gonna pull it out on camera it's probably just gonna be a flake but we'll see yeah a big old spall get the sun so you can see it big old waste flake pretty stuff though we'll keep it Alright guys, I figured I'd film this uh, upstream about, I don't know, 250 yards now. I was catching some carp and decided to walk down river, or down this little creek, rather. Try to look for some arrowheads and stuff. I ended up finding a little teacup that he rooted out of the bank. Kind of pretty. But I figured I'd film this. Looks like an old milk. And I can see some embossing on it. Try to get her out of here. Looks like she's all there. It's gonna be all creek stained up. These ones are really hard to clean, but. Looks like Harmony Creamery Company. Quality Supreme Milk and Cream. Pittsburgh, PA. One half pint, registered, and I can't really make out any date. C14, I don't know if that'd be 1914. Either way, it's a great find, and I'll sure take it. I was just walking this rock bar, just picked up this old blob top, it's busted on top, unfortunately. This is the Cameron Bros. Uh, McDonald PA. This bottle is registered not to be sold. Doesn't look like it has a date on it. Mate. Looks like 27. 1927 maybe. Either way, pretty cool. I don't think I'll take it because of the uh, lip chip but nice little bottle but it looks like a little porcelain button oh yeah very pretty all right I'll be back man guys i tell you what it's been a while since i've been able to make it down here um haven't seen much in the way of flint, flint flakes so it's been kind of rough but we had a rain yesterday 
We haven't had any rain in a long time, so I figured I'd come down here and give it a try. Nothing. And I found myself a point laying right on the surface, right on top. I find some woodland stuff right in here near this big pile of rock. You'll notice this big flat piece has a nutting stone hole in it. So I think this is going to be a woodland point. And it's all there. Let's get down here, I'll show you what I'm seeing. It's a nice little needle tip on it. It's the little guy. Blends in with every other rock out here though, which is so cool. So cool I was able to pick that out. Oh yeah. Let's see him out here, get her a little washed off. A little piece of cortex on the back of it. Yeah, nice little stem point. Probably a forest notch. A little chunky, but we'll take them all. Especially when it's been so dry lately. Yeah, no basic basil rubbing at all, so this is definitely a woodland thing. Very cool nonetheless. Later guys, see you on the next one hopefully. Got a piece of slate looking stuff here. It looks kind of worked. Um, it's kind of buried, I'm gonna have to dig it out. So I'm gonna try to set my phone up here somewhere where you can watch me dig it out. work. Wash it off here, see what we got. Very, very smooth though, I'll say that. Yeah, maybe they were working that down. It's a little beat up down here. Maybe like a hammer stone. It's hoping for banner stone or something along those lines, but I'll take a hammer. Yeah, it's definitely a hammer stone. Look at all that beating they did up to it up here. Yeah, on both edges of it. Oh well, I'll take it though. Later guys. I wish I could have expressed how cool this really is on camera when I found it. And I know I was upset because it's not, you know, a big salt or a banner stone, but they really used the heck out of this hammer stone. It's just so cool to me. Got some iron deposit from sitting on the uh, base clay. That's all that is. But still, it's a great find. Alright guys, that's all I found on this hunt. Um, sitting here on this little wild cherry log. I just found some oysters. Edible mushrooms. But, um... Video isn't over yet. I got some pictures and videos of some flying squirrels that I discovered in my backyard. So, hope you enjoy and thank you for watching.